Hi, um, I am going to do Finish 13 by Halloween. Um, and this is the first project that I did a year ago when I started my uh, YouTube channel and my panning journey. So I thought that it would be fun to try it again. Um, some of the products that I've picked, I don't know if I'm going to finish them, but um, I feel like once you start panning, you really, you know, get rid of like your smaller sample sizes uh, first, and then you're kind of left with uh, things that maybe you won't finish, but it's still fun to pan it and do your best. So first off is my Garnier, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One. Um, and this is for waterproof and I don't think that I'm going to have a problem finishing this by Halloween. Um, I made a mark right there to show my progress. Um, so I think this one will be fine. Next up is a Buxom in White Russian. Lip glosses are difficult for me. Um, but this was a full size, so I want to get my money's worth, and I feel like it will go over a lot of colors, um, and I just need to do my best to, you know, get rid of these so I'm not wasting my money. Next up is another lip gloss. This is a MAC Lip Gloss in Pink Lemonade. I thought that it would be fun to pan this during the summer. Um, it's a really pretty shade. The lip glosses aren't my favorite, so I'm trying to use the ones that I still have that haven't gone bad. Um, but yeah, I don't really like how sticky they are. Okay, next, my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I am a little more than halfway done, but anyone that's ever panned one of these knows that it takes forever. Um, so I don't know if I'll finish it, but I definitely want to see how much progress I can make. Next up is a Stila Smudge Crown in the shade Kitten. I got this off of Holt Look. I really like it. This is how much I have left. I like to put this on my inner corner and then put, um, you know, whatever shadow I'm using on top of it just to highlight and I really like it. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it either, but we'll see. Next up is my NARS uh, Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner in Via Veneto. Um, that's how much I have left. And I just use this to tight line so it will go very slowly. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish that one either, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, next I am doing two mini eyeliners um, to equal one full one. One is um, a Kat Von, D, Kat, Kat Von D autograph pencil in Immortal Love. It's just a brown. And then the other one is an Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil in Black Velvet. And I'm just trying to work through my eyeliners this year. Next, I just want to hit pan. I'll be really happy if I can hit pan. Bronzers are the vein of my existence. I don't think I'll ever need to buy another bronzer again in my whole life. But I am going to try and hit pan on the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. It's just a deluxe size. I'm not going to contour with this. I'm just going to, um, you know, bronze up the perimeter of my face. And hopefully through the summer I can at least hit pan because, yeah, I don't get a lot of sun. So most bronzers look ridiculous on me. Next up I have the Fake Up by Benefit. And there isn't tons of product in this, but um, I do think I'm gonna dig down once I, you know, get to the uh, plastic part. Um, and another thing about this is, I feel like I go through concealers really slowly, um, especially under eye concealers. I just, I feel like they take me a lot longer than other people. 
Next up is my Sephora lipstick in Attitude or Star. I think it's in Star. And this actually was in my last project pan last Halloween. And I haven't used it once because I was so sick of it. This isn't my favorite formula, but I've never finished a full lipstick before. And I feel like this one is close. So why not just try it and finish it and get it out of my collection and it'll be my first one that I've ever used up. Next up is my NYX eyeshadow in True Taupe. This was in a previous project pan as well. I use it on my eyebrows and I think that I will be able to finish it by Halloween. I really don't need a lot of it. I really like it. It's working out really well. All right, next up is a face mask. It's from Michael Todd. It's the Charcoal Detoxifying Facial Mask. There's no way to really mark my progress. It, I've only used it a few times and it feels pretty full, um, but I don't really like the smell of this. And when it comes to masks, I'm just kind of lazy. I need to get a lot better about using them. And then last but not least, I am going, to try and finish this coconut water chill by Bath and Body Works. It takes me so long to go through these body sprays. I don't know what my problem is, but this is quite, this is going to be challenging for me, most definitely. Um, and I made a mark right there. So yeah, those are all my products and hopefully it goes well. I think um, for like the eyeliners and the uh, shadow stick I'll just measure them and so I'll have something to reference uh, next update and yeah thank you so much for watching